I'm not talking at all. I'm working. I'm not talking with you guys. And I'm alive. He's alive. I'm alive. <laughs> but sometimes you can talk. <laughs> Like that video, you guys so much like. <laughs> huh? Like the video? The one you talked that... like a crazy person? <laughs> yeah. You were rambling? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> video. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Um, I want to do here. Uh, yes. That thing. Um, because reason, I don't. Because the reason. Go, uh, oh, shit. Object, you cannot uh, even go there. You cannot even go there. You can walk around uh, and. Reasons, it's hard to duplicate. Uh, <laughs> you can walk around and walk around. And you can, you can <laughs> see. open and. You can see work from yeah. other people <laughs> while walking around. <laughs> God damn it, man. <laughs> Volume two coming soon. <laughs> I, I don't know what to say more, so uh, uh, you can still uh, walk around. I'm gonna leave you <laughs> yes. to walk around. Bye -bye. <laughs> the best part I didn't even say hello. <laughs> oh no, it's yeah. all good, man. We're gonna do it next time too. Well, they learn a valuable lesson after doing that. That you, right need, to back fucking, <laughs> you need to fucking organize yourself when doing videos. Yes. Write a script. Yeah, I know. It was it was really what is it? Uh, spontaneous. Yeah, don't don't Not do much. spontaneous. <laughs> Bad idea. Mind blowing. Yeah, <laughs> Why is the fucking um, Twitch not showing me live though? For me. Yeah. Fucking yeah, refresh. Probably get a notification. Like 10 minutes. Yeah, it's not refreshing instantly. And if I click on you, it sends me to videos, right? Not to the live. Idiot. Weirdness. And if I click on you, it sends Now we have this weapon. I move around this cable <laughs> because this cable needs to be moved around. I promise next time I'm making it, it's gonna be sounding much better. <laughs> Are you gonna like stand up ZBrush and <laughs> cut it? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> no, I, I, I think I would be a really bad teacher, man. You know, you you go here, Come and on, you I'm move not... around. And you can... I'm actually <laughs> asking you if you're gonna send that gun to ZBrush to sculpt it. Oh, this one? Mm -hmm. Um, some of the parts probably, but I really want to make it clean. So, I don't know. We figure it out. Clean doesn't mean perfect. You need to understand that we have more oh, right, right. casting. Mm -hmm. You have. It's got a lot of uh, straight lines. Um, yeah, I I got you, man. That need to be dumped down. You like it? It's really old, man. Well, if you make it proper and you make a very nice. Look at the retopogen, man, on this baby. I was like, how the fuck did I do this back in the days? You were paying attention. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? Back in my the ocean day. is better. Yeah, my ocean is better than what I'm doing now, man. What the fuck? I'm getting sloppy. That should raise questions, my friend. Nah, I'm kidding, man. I learn a lot. So I'm, I'm actually pretty happy to come back to this. Let's see where we bring it. But the question is, have you finished the weapon? <laughs> it's inside our real bad. You saw it. I sent it. It's done. It's done. I just need some props, bro, and I, I don't have anything else in this uh, kind of standard right now. Uh, the trucks. That's the only one. Nim, let me show you my progress so far. Show me. If you're interested. I'm gonna delete the sure, skull as well. And show you. So, you have a model, right? 
with no skin in it, no bones, no nothing. Press this button, bam, it creates a fucking skull. I like how the viewport of my ad covers like 10% of the stream. Yeah. Well, <laughs> basically, it's not important. Not important. <laughs> <laughs> Just a small head. Okay, now it created the, the fucking skull, right? You can also go and fine tune it. I added some controls here. So, for example, if it goes to further outside, you can like put it backwards and it sets the limit, it, it recalculates the the set driven keys or for example the angles or the the contact for example it's here it should make contact a bit here as well it should be something like this okay, so now if I were to move it jumps over the teeth, teeth as it should okay next you can end tweaking then you can create a, a skinning automatically so you just press this button wait a few seconds hope nothing explodes And done. And now you have a, a skin with corrective blend shape setup, which you can go and automatically tweak. Like I set up this whole system here. Uh, the moment you click on a certain corrective blend shape, it automatically ed enables edit on it. You can also uh, modify the set driven keys, the timing basically when it triggers. I'm gonna go into detail with it and the last part I've been working yesterday is a way to transform this type of uh, setup into a pure blend shape instead of having a skin for rigs that don't want to combine uh, skin on the face like just you they just want to use blend shapes so you choose a resolution how many you blend shapes anyone you... only use blend shapes well it depends for example if I have a client that uh, is gonna do himself the the body rigging afterwards if i were to do a hybrid rig with a joint that uh, that controls the the lower part of the of the face the the jaw basically it's gonna be harder to rig because they'd have to copy the skin weights from that specific bone into their new skin cluster which is set up for all the bones and he might not want to i don't know complicate himself with that so in that case I just press this button and it extracts the deltas and it creates some blend shapes which are these ones over here which I can add to the morpher hide them and now I can like trigger the animation sequentially just from blend shapes that's cool man yeah. pretty nice and after I finish this system for converting to blend shapes I need to start working on the pairing, the controllers uh, with the blend shapes or with the joint, with everything, all the logic behind it and shit like that. So hopefully I've been making some progress. Well, close to get, get it released one. Mm. The pairing will be a bit difficult. I'm gonna have to figure out all the logic and how to combine them. 
because some stuff should work in certain positions like you shouldn't be able to I don't know push the when the mouth is closed and you lift the lower lip it should push on the upper lip right but if the mouth is open he needs to know that so that doesn't trigger that specific expression and stuff like that it's gonna be tricky to figure out some sort of script but once it's done it's gonna remain done so it's gonna be awesome mm -hmm. So my problem right now is that I was doing the left and right bakes for the... But when you're... Uh, when your mouth is open, and you move right, the animation is a bit different. And I need to extract the deltas. I need to create another function, especially for this. Hey, Tommy, love Tommy. Yeah, well, I'm calculating distances and all, and a lot of stuff. Either with the distance, but that might be a bit too too heavy because I want this to be a real-time rig. So if I just on each update of the scene when you move something I calculate a distance it uh, might be a bit costly so I might just have to set up certain stuff like if the the joy is closed I could use a lerp or something like that and uh, in that case that specific branch should be triggered and if you open the mouth it should figure out that that type of trigger is not available and it should multiply it with a zero or something and it's not gonna happen in that case if I were to do this just for VFX for movies for rendering I could do a lot more stuff like I could actually calculate stuff and make collisions and it's not exactly I know I have a small function that extracts the deltas for a list of blend shapes. Like if you have five blend shapes encompassing this animation, which is split into five different meshes, transforms them to additive blend shapes. But I need a function if I want just the move mouth towards the left. It should be kind of like in the zero position. So it should also extract this middle one. Tricky. Thanks, Dark Sky. Frank, thanks for the subscription. Well, J, the skull that it creates, it's done um, like it's created dynamically based on the um, based on the mesh. Let me show you once more. I think you missed that part. We open the scene. If 
but I'm not exactly sure if it could work on a random beast. I, I basically created this for humanoid characters. If you the orc head, trust. It might work with an orc head because it's slightly similar in physiognomy. Not really, especially the jaw. I don't know, we, we need to test it. I have no idea if I said we need to test it. Okay, so hope it doesn't crash because I added some code. So right now I have this skull which is especially tailored for that mesh, right? So if I delete it and I recreate it, I'm gonna see how it how it does it. Fitted it to the to the mesh. So it should work if it's relatively close to a human being. Not exactly sure to what extent. If it just works partially, you can always go and do some manual work around it and tweak whatever it fucks up. Okay, back to the...
there are very few VFX artists now. Is there very few? Yeah. The good ones, right? Good ones. Because it's hard to model VFX particles and stuff like that. To do it properly, because there's a lot of physics and math happening there. But people shy away from math, because it's hard. <laughs> It's also very common face screaming. Yeah, I knew you why. Is there more really wrong? Why am I? Why? Everyone with weird fetishes. Not fury, furry. <laughs> I think he's trying to say. Like in Hello, my furry friend. Don't go with it, dark sky. Yeah. Don't go there. Usually when people create something like an extract delta script, create additive blend shapes, they just add a, a blend shape deformer on it and they just add a minus one value on the blend shape they want to extract. But I fucking hate that method. I just prefer subtracting the positions of the vertices.
I have weird friends keyboard. <laughs> this is very educational, especially for people interested in a uh, 3D. <clears throat> 3D. <laughs> Maybe from is that the uh, forbidden 3D? <clears throat> 3D? Maybe it's interesting for grooming artists. <laughs> yeah. Indeed. Maybe. Game of Thrones? Yeah, man, I finished that piece of garbage. <laughs> You'll have to redo it, screaming. Sadly. That's the only comment I have, keyboard. Last season of Game of Thrones was a piece of garbage. Bob, big bamboo clock. Actually, Just you can you seasons. can try like this screaming. You can try to merge them again, and keeping the V's, and then export the merge with the V's and the merge without the V's that you have post and make a morph target in in 3ds Max or whatever Maya. Blend shape in Maya, but you need to pray that it will make the same order for verses, which I'm not sure is gonna happen. They're not gonna do a next Game of Thrones like anytime soon. Yeah, but that's not Game of Thrones, that's a different show, <laughs> set in the same world. I, I'm trying to say they're not gonna make a song of ice and fire anytime soon. And they're actually making like two or three dif different series like there's that prequel one uh, which is called A Long Night I, I think they're doing another one with uh, with Valyrians and they might be doing one with Arya or something what is it with this Arya girl? she's not text fiction right? I, don't, I don't like the character honestly mm -mm. she earned it too easy Such a sad little boy. <laughs> uh, I don't care anymore. If the prequels would be the fucking 
last season. <laughs> I can go kill myself. <laughs> But um, what about this brand Broken Man? The whole fucking hack. We're never gonna see him again. <laughs> We're not gonna see his Maybe. special power. <laughs> What's special? Special power? Yeah. He's like, I need to go now. I have to go. <laughs> I cannot watch people get killed, so I'm gonna become a crow and run around. So he's like, we give me my. <laughs> Be right back. He's fucked up, man. How the fuck did they mess that shit up so hard? Still, big question of the day. Well, your name is Genocide. Suppose you like to get watch people get killed. Hey, Indy. So I'm writing code here, but I'm not sure if I'm doing it properly. I'm a bit confused. I've been paying attention in parallel to you guys. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck am I doing? It's okay, man. It's okay. <laughs> it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. <laughs> it's gonna work. It's gonna fucking explode the moment I press the button. Maya's gonna crash. The computer will catch fire. Probably. Should I say most likely? Yeah. Extract the delta. I have worked in a studio before. Last time I worked in on site was 11 years ago. So good luck, Hindi.
shit is clearly not gonna work. Probably. How are you smiling, heavy guy? No man, I don't want to work on site anymore. After so many years of working from home, going to work on site, it's gonna be... Imagine waking up each day going to work at a certain yeah. hour. Sorry, but no. <laughs> yeah. You got the talent, man, so you can do that shit. Lucky you. I think it was you that said that, right? That if you need to be a freelancer, you need to have your shit solid. Yeah. You know, said if you can work on major projects from home. I worked on Dishonored. Dishonored is not a major AAA project. What is that game? Dishonored. <laughs> I'm fucking with you. Is there are there any benefits of working on site in comparison to working at home? Yes, you will grow faster because you have people around to help you. You'll have better and job security. Also. Yeah, more job security because you're not contracted for for a game Project, and that's it for project for, based for a few months. You're going to have vacation days and shit like that, which you don't have as a freelancer. Yeah, but as a freelancer, you can like uh, and administrate your time better, so you can like work more in one day and take whatever days you want off. Very well, picks. But uh, to be honest, I think every artist should go, but at a certain point and work on site, even if their their dream is to work as a freelancer. I think the experience you get from working on site at least a year or two. It's very valuable. 
you understand the whole pipeline better and the whole workflow. It pays more on site? No, not really. How much you get paid depends on you, on your negotiation skill and your skills as a 3D artist. Holy shit. The good thing about freelancing is that you can work from anywhere in the world as long as you have decent internet, right? Like you can be from a country where there are not many 3D studios and still get good contracts. And you don't need to fucking relocate to, I don't know, United States or Canada or whatever, UK. It worked. Amazing. Oh my god, so oh my what god. have I done? <laughs> what have I done? You made it work. It extracted the fucking dump. From one single blend chip. Be right back ten minutes. Uh -huh. Be right back. Sure, man. See you time.
and I'm back. to extract the delta for the left movement. Let's see if it works with a progressive additive resolution of 2. something failed here.
Also, the problem is from over here. The second one it creates. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. I didn't check. Okay, better. Why? Oh, what? I was just gonna fucking complain again. Come on, let me show the weapon. Thanks for this RGB, man. It's fucking helping a lot. 
My question no, is, just got with plan. where are all the attachments that you made for this? Hmm. It's, it's like everywhere, but it's like whoosh, over here, and it's heightened and it's hidden, and the scope and all that is is already there. Mm -hmm. You just you, you just can't see it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where do you want to go with? What weapon? Elite. Uh, we're doing a fucking sniper. He calling it done for being done. Don't you love your bot when you're adding a command to show the multi-stream? And then mm -hmm. the next message is exactly the same. That's mm. random. I still don't have set up my bot, man. My bot is, is somewhere out there. I won't even say anything. For how many years are you streaming a little? And your bot is still not set up. What? Uh, I've been streaming for like the last forty-five years, but uh, my bot is somewhere out there. I can't find him. <laughs> not a fucking dog, man. He took a walk with the dog, and they never came back. You guys don't understand that it's very, very difficult to set up a bot, right, Olit? You say what? Right? It's very difficult to set up a bot. It's rocket science. Yeah. It takes it's, like it's, a week or two. It's, it's hard like, coding and shit. It's really, it's really hard code, man. It's really hard. Really? Very really? Maybe. It. That's it. That's it. You ready? Next phase. Textures. Go. No, I'm not gonna sculpt anymore. Lord. Not now. Eh? Hey, Johnny. Starting textures or hair? Yeah, I'm gonna start refining fucking textures and shit. Nice. Let's go, oh, man. First, I think I'm gonna make some eyebrows in uh, the CDS Max. Mm hmm. Show us. No, <laughs> I'm gonna do them offline, so I can make a tutorial and become rich. Oh, shit. Like, I went to our station today, mm -hmm. 
and um, top products. Let me see if I can find it again. There was this. I swear to God, I don't, I don't know why I'm not doing this. Okay, show, show, show. Default eyebrows. So he made some eyebrows. And he's selling this for five bucks. And it's in top product. That means he's sold a lot. Why didn't you do this? Because it takes fucking 10 minutes to do this shit. Do it. Do it. Make variations. Make sliders. Perfection. Works. It's like selling eyeballs, yeah. Well, eyeballs are a bit more complex because you actually have to do the fucking texture for the eyeball. And that's a bit more complex, right? Some fucking hair, are you fucking kidding me? Hi, DJ. Yeah, you would buy boobs. Of course. Obviously. Obviously. Now for the mouth right. I love it when shit actually works. Fucking 3ds Max, rest in peace. Rest in pieces. Gonna start using rhinos, man. <laughs> crashed? Yeah, it's fucking crashed. You're gonna start using what? Rhino? <laughs> Something unfamiliar to others. I know about rhino. Piece of trash. Yeah, you know about rhino? Can you teach me? Te I know about it. <laughs> I don't I know you'd know rhino. It. Why would I know Rhino? I don't know. Maybe you know. You know everything. I don't know any, everything. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm gonna start quoting you that when when you're gonna say next time I know everything, I'm gonna start saying it might be magic to you, but for us it's science. <laughs> Man, you know what I hate about fucking... About fucking? About fucking, yeah. About fucking Discord. Very difficult to search for something. If you lost it somewhere in the fucking discussion, and you're trying to find exactly that shit, it's almost impossible. But I found it on Ingur. I uploaded it there also. Here, DJ, something for you. Yeah, I'm using the desktop app and you can do search, but it's showing only partial result. Ah, yes, yeah. <laughs> and don't click on it. Or click. See what he says. <clears throat> Is the neck too thin? Something's mm -hmm. weird. 
in the next to sin. No, it's the goddamn perspective. Because no. max, it's like what thirty default for. I need to create a map though. Uh, it's, I think you're right, man. Like, it's a much better business to cater to the beginners instead of doing advanced stuff that Obviously. just a few people are able to follow. So, kids, let me tell you how to make a boob insert mesh brush today. <laughs> to make a boob? <laughs> Can make me class cage out of boob, of course. Have a texture map. You're first blocking them out. I'm making a. I'm gonna use Ornatrix. And I'm making a. a density map. Mm. I don't think I ever used Ornatrix. Don't remember. Uh, very nice plugin. I know it, but. And shit. I think I tested the trial once or something. Man, eyebrows mm -hmm. do so much for a face. Eyebrows. Yeah. For fuck's sake. The difference is huge. Whoa. Yes, genocide. I'm gonna do them with Ornatrix because Ornatrix has that uh, surface node where it follows the I think surface it matter exactly what I don't remember ever seeing you use fiber mesh. Fiber mesh? Oh, I've tried it a few times, but it sucks. Fiber mm -hmm. mesh sucks. I don't know what, with all the craziness about fiber mesh. But... I honestly believe it's a useless as fuck.
how do I come up with the design for the sexy hooker? Well, it started, it started <laughs> as, as Jessica Jones. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, Indy, I've seen that epic bot saving haircut. We'll see we'll, where they will go with that. Hi, Nightfall. Yeah, so it, it started as Jessica Jones, then I realized that it doesn't have enough boobs. So we decided to, to make some boobs. Since everyone was expecting young proper boobs. You wanted to subvert expectations like the creators from Game of Thrones. I wanted, I wanted to... To repilate everyone and I failed. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, I was on the phone, if you say something to me. Nobody says yes. it, said anything to you. Cheers. I'm sorry. Nobody loves you. Nobody likes me. The whole design was made because I wanted to replace people. So I made an old lady with a fucking disease and then I decided to make, instead of making her, like I wanted to make a witch initially and then I decided to make her a full transparent clothing and bullshit. The old lady story, huh? Why do I have a fucking million I input textures here? I think ZBrush is going places. Your dream of digital, your mine. I know uh, it's almost your perfect woman because she's not blonde, other than that. Who am I? No, the sexy lady. A bit too young for you, DJ? I don't. That's where the Geronto files are hiding. Let's just extract these parts here because we don't need this.
Bom. Now what Warnatex has very cool is this OX surface. This shit it's fucking off. Oh so it doesn't just push the uh, on the normal of the surface, it actually follows the It leans the hair down. They're different one. They do the same thing to a certain degree, yes. Is, is moving so top. I rarely use her cards for. Eyebrows, man. Are you fucking gonna crush at me? Cool part in what I'm, what I'm doing right now is that if you're trying to convert the hybrid rig towards a full blend shape rig, with this you can actually choose the resolution. Like for example, a specific movement, how many blend shape will create that movement? Because it's not exactly linear. So you could have it only with a single blend shape if you want 
to do something for VR or something or something super fast. Or you can like split it in five pieces and get a more accurate conversion. No, I'm gonna make them both, but I'm testing right now to see the proper density that I need. Yeah, go cool. try, try, try. It's gonna fix it. You heard mono, bro. Why? So now, now I can just export this and put it on our station and sell it for five bucks, right? Can you? Of course, I can convert it to no. double. Don't forget us when you're getting rich, man. How long did it take me, Indy, to make a bro? But you say it was selling well, didn't you? Yeah. It was in trending. Mm -hmm. You ready to get rich, man? Didn't it also have planes and was big? Mm -hmm. Didn't it also have planes and it was big on them? Or it was just a mesh? No, no, no. It was the mesh for ZBrush. It had no planes. The higher. I'm always like in whatever software I'm pressing the brackets and the brackets actually zoom in. Hey. Yeah, the size of the brush. I want too much.
plugin selection. How was I fucking selecting this shit? Selected on it. Well, it depends. I most of the times for females, I would just make this into the head now. But if it's, it really needs to have a separate hair card or whatever, because it's using a different shader, I would just extract the mesh that I extracted to generate the hair. That. Because they follow the same topology as the head, and when the character would move the eyebrows, it will move the hair also. You're talking about planes, and um, yeah, I'm I'm talking about skin wrapping. How I would make the the freaking geometry for this eyebrow? I would need. Yeah, and you're geometry. using the the same geometry to be sure it's gonna nicely bind to the to the mesh of the face. Elephant, stop dropping acid, man. Here's all I have. I don't understand. Your hair. I would use planes for that, like for beard. Let's select the donor asset. The scale is not working.
because it's easier to bake game art. We have a very good result. I think I need to make a density map. Another density map. Wait. I haven't decided yet it's gonna be baked on the head. It will be on the a separate mesh extracted from the head. Separate mesh, separate mesh. Probably separate mesh account. Decent shading on it. Yeah. And maybe we're gonna make a setup for Unreal Engine. I told you. I would like the wrong that's exactly the problem. In Unreal, I have a hard time. What? <laughs> you have a hard time? Period? You don't have a hard time with the uh, with the transparency for this. Well, just uh, you can like for testing purposes and for like previewing purposes, you can uh, like actually leave them. Uh, meshes, individual strands. There's one example of a human humanoid. There are a lot of like the one from Epic, the Mike one. That has individual strands. It's not baked to the planes. Yeah, no, and it's, they have an actual like shader heavy. for that. Yeah it's heavy. But looks cool. Even if I'm gonna make them like just billboards like this, right? One planner thing. Still gonna have a shit ton of polygons. 40k only for the eyebrow. Now I'm saying. I know what you're saying. Plus. If you if you're gonna bake it, bake them in Unreal. There's that problem with dithering, mm -hmm. which is like annoyingly visible on on eyebrows. Like you have to make the 
hair strands thicker on purpose. Because Arial doesn't know for transparency. Yeah, because it's deferred rendering one. That's why. It's not for the rendering. And deferred uses those G buffers. And like basically it's a composition of various images in order to get the final result. So it's not storing the proper transparency for an object. It doesn't know what's behind it because it's a single image basically. It, it would have to render another pass especially for the for that object to actually figure out what's behind it to the proper transparency. But that's that comes with another fucking can of problems because it fucks up your performance like rendering another pass. One of you fuckers. For you fuckers. Yes, game art. I'm using our metrics. Why not? In the 3D streams, talking about, about Blender, it's a very common thing. There we go. I think we're back. Are we back? A bit. Can you guys hear me? Okay, I can't use this call with ZBrush, man. Use with zebras. Discord. Can't use Discord. All right, you guys should hear me, right now. My sound card died when I'm using ZBrush. You have some serious tissue. Please, man. Yeah, I think I need a tissue.
Eight cent has. I need to make textures and shit. I ordered some food. Huh? Ordered some food earlier. Oh, you, you, your food? I ordered some food for fuck's sake. Elite. God damn, man! It was like I was just so surprised you said food with you and you. <laughs> I ordered some food and I was like, they're, they're, they're not coming. And it stopped taking drugs. What the LCDs? <laughs> oh, I don't know what you're taking on, but I not... get the OLED. <laughs> it's not okay. <laughs> Where the fuck do I see this? Uh, an interesting bug. No, I ordered some Chinese. They Chinese in a while. I just become your sidekick today, Nimrod. The one that's trying to learn from the master Batman. <laughs> I don't understand why he's doing this shit. You know what you could do that might make it look decent in Unreal? Mm. You might... You could bake part of the air strand on the actual texture of the face and just leave a few of them actual air strands floating on top to add that depth. Like, I don't make know a hybrid basically. Would... To be honest, I think especially for girls, just 
just adding them to to the head texture it's enough we don't really need it Man, if i am to rig this model later on uh, beside the bake also add the hair strands in the package because i can take care of of them and like randomly remove some of them to thin out the herd decimate the number and we can try if it looks okay it looks okay if it doesn't and it doesn't bring any, bring anything to the table no harm done no. all this in and save so yeah exactly you're not gonna doesn't influence you with anything should save this shit sometimes crashes yeah the font there are changed keep on remaining obviously they're everywhere <laughs> there are Chinese people in Romania no none it's not like we have actual Chinese neighborhood.
what, Johnny? Did you guys stop fucking taking drugs, please? That's what I keep saying. I really appreciate. Okay, so I finished uh, creating the script that converts the the normal skin cluster into blend shapes. Now I need to add some code to add it to the blend shape deformer, then delete them from the scene. And this part is like done. Congrats. Of course, DJ, you figured me out. How did you know? Yes, we're seeing eight so matrix. Uh, I don't think so. Zarzarnix. But you can stick around, man. That's what I'm doing. For example, now I'm doing eyebrows for games.
Yes, Jar. Either on game mesh or will be baked directly into the head texture. Item bed. It's too much, it's too much.
have no fear for this year. I don't know why it's speaking so low. Probably the frequency is more sensitive to that <sighs> upward range. Because it's not that loud in real life. Uh, I'll have to go and eat. Enjoy, man. Oh. Bon appetit. Take five, man. 15 minutes, 20 minutes break. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I think I'm like you a little eating yeah. for hours. <laughs> gobble, you gobble, gobble. Shoo. You need to shoo, man. Enjoy your meal, you know. I'll be back. Alright, see you back. Enjoy enjoy the lit solar's work. There I go. Right, right. Yeah, you can watch me do boring stuff. What are you doing, Solar? I'm not even watching you. Well, not even you are watching, so Okay. Finish creating the converter from a skin. Joint setup to only blend shapes. Now I need to add some code to add them to the actual blend shape deformer. Then I can move to the next part of the plugin. The actual pairing with controllers. I've been waiting for this part for a long ass while. But after I finish this uh, small part, I think I'm gonna work offline. What? Why? Why? Why now? <laughs> Why now? Because I need to focus and I also... I'll I'm gonna wanna take a break before starting on the next part. Well, plus being a that is what you feel like being a new part of the plugin. Um, kind of need to think about it a, a lot when I start figure out what my is, course of action. Can you tell me a little bit what the, what this new part means? Well, check check out my screen. I'm looking at you. Like, um, you have your character, right? With all them blend shapes. Mm -hmm. and all that, that good stuff that drive the mesh, right? And at the end, you need to combine them with actual controllers, like, like these ones. Generally so. You see, I've created some controllers right now, which are bound to the skin. And the next part would be to actually bind them to something like, let's say, um, let's choose some, some eyebrows, for example, right outer bra, which is this one over here, 
for example. So what face is that? Is that the the what what face is that? It's a so model I made a while back. Just like that, out of the blue, right now. What do you mean? The face. I never see you do that shit, man. What the fuck? I did this a long time ago before I started doing the plugin. <laughs> then you started doing this. Then you you gave up on this. <laughs> yeah, I put it on break, basically. Fuck, man. I'm gonna the talent. At a certain point. So, so, I just paired only a single controller with a blend shape manually this way from the plugin. But I want to create a system in which it binds all of them together with some logic, some constraints and stuff like that, but on its own. Like you just click another button and it does all of, all of the controllers. So, whatever it has right now is done for what it can do, right? So, what can it do, man? I never see it in finished state. So what? You you say you're done with it, right now? No, I'm not the done face with that. You were... I, I need to. Done with what? What are you talking about? <laughs> no, no. You was like, hey, I'm, I'm. It's working. It's done. And yeah, it's like, working. That, that that converter from, uh, it converts from a uh, skin based rig. Let me show. Fuck it. Uh, oh. Clear this up. Well. It looked the same to me. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the you point. You got some new icons, I see. Really flashy colors. So, so right now <laughs> it's not skin, right? Like it's just this. Uh, uh, this skull is controlled by these bones, right? Which have, have a logic of their own. So, they push forward if you move it like this. Uh -huh. Okay. So it's independent, basically, from the from the mesh. This mesh has just a blend shape deformer on it. It doesn't, it's not skinned or anything. If you press this button over here, it's gonna skin it automatically. Oh shit, you better highlight it with some effects, man. Magic button. <laughs> like, it's, it's, it's a <laughs> fucking star and shit. Yeah. Okay, so. You know now, how cool that would be? Now it's skinned, right? But. Maybe the user won't want to use a, a, a rig which uses hybrid uh, skins and blend shape at the same time. Maybe they just want blend shapes. Because right now it's it's a skin. Like if you go into the skin, uh, paint skin weights, you can see how it's skinned to the actual bone. Right? So mm -hmm. instead of using it like this, maybe you just want blend shapes. So, so that black thing, what is that? Is that the bone that's connecting to the jaw? What black thing? You know, you have a whole white face and then you got that black stripe. Yeah, is that the bone joint? That's the bone joint of the uh, of the jaw, which is automatically skin. Ah. And that's how it controls the actual mesh. But maybe you don't want to use it like that. You want to remove the deformer. Like in 3ds Max, you know how the, there's that stack of deformers and you can add a... a a skin deformer for bones, for joints. Mm -hmm. Right in Maya, it's the same crap. Like the the equivalent of the the skin wrap deformer, it's this uh, this one over this skin cluster thing, right? But maybe you don't want to use this in game. Maybe you just want to rig the body and leave the the whole head to be animated with blend shapes, right? So I created this button. Which... Do you have uh, any kind of dynamic system for things uh, to attach to whatever? Let's just say if I made an earring and I can attach it to the ear and... You can attach them make... using the bonus tools from Maya. It already has okay. some stuff over here. Jiggle right, and right. stuff like that. Dynamic so, joints. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This thing made that. Right. Not necessarily then. All right. No. Okay. So in order to com convert this setup into pure blend shapes, you press this button here. You can also select how many blend shapes. For example, this movement, it's not linear, right? It, it goes forward, it goes back a bit, it's not straight, right? So maybe you want more blend shapes to create this animation. So you just select how many you want, let's say four, for the mouth open. And for the left, right, let's just leave one, because it's not such a complex animation, right? You hit this button, and it transforms these movements from the skin cluster into actual blend shapes. 
It's calculating right now. Oh shit, he doesn't need it. Hey, uh, let's say if you're gonna sell that plugin, right? Right. How hard will it be for a person like me that got no clue, coming in, got a fucking character, just wanna rig it? Super Can I do easy. it like Mixino? Super easy, Berlin inconvenience. It's gonna take you one hour. Okay. To do a month. So you're just placing you you're just placing some some notes around the face and it's gonna pre-calculate everything? Yeah, you define some areas on your model and you follow a pipeline or workflow because you can do more stuff with the plugin so it allows you some um, some flexibility so because of that because I didn't hard code it to do everything automatically you need to follow certain certain steps like first you need to go here and add the blend shapes then you need to go to controllers and you I kind of set them in order, so you can like uh, set up the gel system, the skull system, then you can tweak it, then you can create the, the skin, then you can convert them to blend shapes or leave them as a skin cluster, depends how you want your rig. Then you can hit this button and generate your controllers. Then you can use this button and it will pair the blend shapes with the controllers and then you're gonna have a face rig. God damn, that was the most complex long answer ever. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> I'm gonna make some tutorials like this is meant for actual game production so it's not feasible to just make one button and it creates it on its own it has to leave the artist some wiggle room to go and edit something if the plugin fucks up something you know, it, it can't be perfect when you automatize something so you need to leave some wiggle room in which the artist can evaluate certain uh, each step and s say to himself like okay so I like this or I want to add some customness to it, you know, take a soft selection brush and pull on th those blend shape a bit, you know, and adjust them accordingly to the, to the character. So that's why it, it, you need to follow a certain workflow, but it's not complex at all. It's just a freaking order in which you do stuff. No, it, it looks good, man. You've been working for it for a long time. Yeah. I have. Still keep working on it. So why do you want to leave us now? <laughs> After I finish this part. Because I need to start that pairing procedure. The last one. So I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. And I need to think about it a bit. I'm going to take a lunch break. Ponder the problem, figure out how to. It would to be cool, project. man, to look at how you're planning shit like that. I've like, been seeing people doing crazy lists, man. I'm planning yeah. things like in my head. You're not gonna see anything. You're gonna see me what the staring fuck, at man? the monitor. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Planning. Seeing I thought planning. you was doing some kind of like writing shit down. Why the fuck would I write shit down? Because then you would sound like me in the video, man. <laughs> Fuck man, I have a brain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Just say that I'm a monkey, man. No, I'm not saying you're a monkey. I'm saying, what, what do you mean planning stuff up? I need to think about it. Like, decide in my head how I'm gonna proceed. Oh, shit. It's just a yes or no question, man. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's no point in making lists and stuff like that. You make lists when you're working in a team or something so you can share your ideas with somebody else yeah or maybe just getting a really good blueprint man or, or you know mine what no. is it called that, that shit you, you're writing is a minefield or something you're using you're stacking words for words what I, I can't remember what it, brainstorming man shit yeah brainstorming. minefield what the fuck was that <laughs> I don't know. What you oh. talking about? <laughs> Thank you, Yahoo. Let's go. Storm equals field. <laughs> and mind e mind equals brain. Obviously. I need to do I 
have some code that adds blend chips. Oh. Why am I crashed? Amazing.
And I'm done. Works. Alright, I'm gonna end my stream at this point. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah, uh, are you going, Solar? Yeah, I'll come back right later. In January, <laughs> You're coming back raging? Yeah, okay. but I'm not gonna stream <laughs> any longer. Oh man, you make me sad, man, when you say shit like that. Sad panda. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Alright. Alright, man, take care, man. See ya later.